But anyway, Skarzig Brome. Uh, I don't remember if I was on Pontiff or not. But I think that everybody was in agreement that Saurian Finality was, was an abomination. We want Golem Metallurgist, Boulder Breacher. I don't think I was on Vanquisher. I think I was on Double Hailstone. Okay, so I'm trying to remember what the rest of this deck was. I remember we had Dauntless Advance. Then we just run the good stuff, right? Windblade Adept, Arclight Sentinel, Silverguard Knight. After Blaze is a really strong card in Brome because the tokens you summon in front of yourself have zeal. So you get draw that way. Holy Immolation. And a couple Trinity Oaths. And what other neutral cards can we run? I don't know if we were actually on Azurite Line. It's pretty good with Dauntless Advance and After Blaze, I suppose. I think perhaps we were on Celebrant. Which makes Pontiff a little bit more worth. And Hailstone Golem. But the, but the sauce is Dauntless Advance and uh, Boulder Breacher for this deck. What do I cut for more Celebrants? Maybe cut an Azurite Lion? I think I was maybe only on two Arclight Sentinel. I like only having two Arclight Sentinel. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can give people the business with Boulder Zig. Oh, baby, Abyssian! No, they aren't going to do battle pets. The dev team hates battle pets. This is a really good hand. Yeah, <laughs> let's just, I think this is a full keep. <laughs> My opponent just doesn't do anything. What was that card carrying collector? I don't even remember what it does. Two, one. We can hang on. If you play Celebrant, put the mana tile here and then walk through your Celebrant. No, you 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 spend two, then gain one back. So it's still just a it's the same thing as running a two-two. So we just pontiff. I'll respect um spectral blade here. My opponent has slow had a slow start, so I can kind of also take a slow start. My opponent did nothing for a second turn in a row. Okay. We move here. Then we play Celebrant like this. Take center, play Hailstone Golem. It's curtains for my opponent. How do I lose this game from a position like this? No Skarzig required. <laughs> oh no, DOS 4-4. Four four. We can do Conscript After Blaze. We can just do Punch Holy Immolation. We've got um, Celebrant that can just take this mana. So we have access to that plus Conscript if I want it. Alternatively, I can just Boulder Breacher, which bonds so that this can't counterattack. We get a free, uh, free trade into it. Just keep playing for that tempo, that sweet, sweet tempo. Hang on. So Hailstone Golem moves here. Um, Boulder Breacher goes here. So then my General and Pontiff get to swing here for free. And then these hit for free. Boulder Breacher is actually busted, by the way. Being able to attack into something and it doesn't counterattack is... So strong, I can't even begin to tell you. I would, the t this deck, this is tempo, right? To be fair, my opponent skipped their first two turns. <laughs> so I can't pretend like this is a real game. I have no idea, like, what my opponent was planning. Okay, Darkfire Sacrifice. So we've got... 
This is this is lethal eight ways from Sunday. Okay, so that <laughs> that wasn't a very good showcase of this deck. We got a demonstration of what it can do, but my opponent didn't do anything in response. Only playing Legacy today? I'm bouncing back and forth because I have like two or three decks that I'm absolutely in love with. I played Oak and the Nemeton today already, and now we're playing my Golem Scarzig deck. I'll keep these. If I, it's like if I get another Golem, then playing the Metallurgist makes sense. If my opponent doesn't have <laughs> natural selection, we get to play out Hailstone Golem. This card also didn't get the respect it deserved. Ooh, there's lore. You can read the lore in game? Bruh, that's sick. Just completely ignore the game and read a whole, a whole short story. This card used to be, didn't used to be called like Ice Howler or something like that a long time ago. Hailstone Howler. Do I even want Trinity Oath? Wait, what the hell? Oh, I forgot they changed this card. Whenever your opponent draws a card, this gains plus two, plus two. Right, right. I forgot they changed this card. They're playing Furnace. Oh, I didn't notice. Yeah, you can hover the enemy general. What does Trial of Magmar do? You have to summon... It's... Oh, you have to cast seven spells? What is Magmar's trial again? <laughs> this is a visual bug. If this does have provoke, by the way. Oh my God. It's so crazy to see Skarzyk in game again. No, they played the Lava Slasher! Not the Hash Slinging Slasher! Alright, so... After Blaze gives plus two, plus four. So, that is enough to survive. So, I can actually- Yo, we can flip Skarzyk! Yes! The Prophecy! Hallelujah! Hallelujah, indeed. Pogarino! <laughs> Let's go! Yo, this is sick! Oh my god, and we get another Feather Knight in the hand. Oh, you have to you have to buff your minion seven times, right? Hello, Mr. Zig. How you liking the dueling? What's up, Improbable Blob? Welcome back. Homeostatic rebuke. <laughs> oh my god. Amazing. So this just has celerity. It doesn't have rush. But still, it's it's very, very strong. Um, I'm just going to keep using my Bloodbound spell to lock down Starhorn, I think. We can swing here. Um, I do want to... I think I want to play the, um, the Feather Knight back here to play around um, Egg Morph. Like we already saw. Yeah, we'll just play the Metallurgist over here. Looking at all this nonsense that you're playing two draw is something. Yeah, I know. I'm dipping into legacy mode for the memes. Also, again, visual bug. The Crestfallen does have provoke. Can we expect Bloodbound spells to make a return in Duelist 2? It's not likely, but I think that the mechanics themselves could maybe be attached to a spell or a card. You know what I mean? 
Like, if they just take Warbird's effect and they put it on a Dying Wish of something, or it's a really expensive unit that you have to play and it gives you, like, one or two charges, could be pretty cool, right? Because the Blood Surge effects were all pretty sick. It was just that the, the Bloodbound spells like Ripper and stuff were just too strong. What does this do? Takes no damage from minions with less attack. Yo, that's so good! I forgot about this card, the Beast Clad Hunter. All right, so I want more units for Feather Knight. Ooh, Warblade. Okay, now we're cooking. I have to run away from this. So we... Brome runs down here. So we do want a Celebrant. It doesn't matter if I take the Mana Tile with the Celebrant or not. So I can just walk down here first to get away from the Beast Clad Hunter. Then, uh, smack this. Then, we just celebrate into Warblade. Oh, you know what? I should have summoned the Warblade down here so that Feather Knight can walk to this tile to not be in range of the Beast Clad Hunter. Big misplay by me. I think the game is way more depth with only single card draw. Again, it's like drawing one card, rebalancing around that gives the game more like it. it, it they're two different games, right? Playing two, playing Duelist 2 and playing Legacy mode is basically like playing two different games. Um, the fact of the matter is, is that the. Um, the the Bloodbound spells were just wildly imbalanced. So they would have to they would have to overhaul all the all the bloodbound spells if they bring them back. What did they cast? Amplification. Okay. Uh we just win though, right? Yeah. 4 8 9 10 11 Sag. Hate Vernus was one of the harder uh ones to play though. I did misplay with the Feather Knight, though. Feather Knight shouldn't have died that last turn. Yeah, good old Holy Immolation. 